this will be the first holiday shopping season in the state that the state will fully be able to collect online sales taxes thanks to the Supreme Court's ruling last summer. State Capitol Bureau reporter Rashad Hudson tells us why this is welcomed news for the state. Trying to collect online sales tax in the state has been a decades long problem, but now when you're making those online holiday purchases, it's the state of Alabama that will benefit. Tis the season for shopping in stores and online, and it's online shopping that will create new revenue for Alabama. There is now a judicial precedent that says that the state does have the ability to ask those out of town businesses that don't have any physical presence in Alabama to collect and remit sales tax. As of October 1st of this year, the state has already been collecting sales tax. Retailers say this will level the playing field for tax collection. You know, when you buy something online, uh, that truck, that FedEx or UPS truck that delivers it rides on our city, city streets. Before the Supreme Court ruling, the state was collecting online sales tax through a voluntary system. And they did that because they um, were able to kind of lock in at an 8% rate. According to the Alabama Retail Association, since January, the state has collected $79 million in online sales tax. It's 79 million that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise for things that go um, to the cities and counties for infrastructure, for all kinds of things that our, our um, tax dollars are supporting. And although the numbers for online shopping may be going up, people in Alabama still enjoy going into an actual store. Putting the Valley first, Rashad Hudson, WZDX News.